cold. Welcome to the video, guys. Today is a snowy one. Miraculously, it snowed last night. I don't know how, but it did. So, oh, welcome to the video. Well, uh, let's go ahead and go to the kitchen and you can find out what I take. What's up guys, welcome to the kitchen. I'm gonna be showing you these supplements that I take. Now, I'm not going over what these supplements do or why they're necessary or why I benefit from them. I'm just gonna be showing you what I take. We're gonna start off with B6, vitamin D3. There are other vitamin Ds. There's vitamin D and vitamin D2, but I just take vitamin D3. Fish oil, that's an important one right there. Vitamin K. And I'm probably gonna butcher this name, but I really like this stuff, ashwagandha. Then I take this greens blend every day. This has essentially all of those same vitamins in it, but more specifically A, C, and K. So got all those in there. And then creatine, just before workout. Now I usually take all this in the morning, before uh, my day gets started. And yeah, that's just, that's my subs. By the way, yes, I still am using my bougie little milk frother mixer thing. Why would I stop using it? What, because you don't like it? Because you don't like what? Shut up. Shut up. And all the pills? Ooh, Vivalva, ooh. I got some leftover venison from when we were making those burgers. Got about a pound left, and I'm gonna cook up half of a pound in this skillet. In the microwave I have about two cups of rice. I'm gonna split that in half and eat one cup of rice with this about half pound of ground deer. And that is going to be my pre-meal for workout, my pre-workout meal. I can't speak. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys at the gym, specifically the factory. And like that, we made it. Now today is different because I yet again have deadlifts. Now I know last time when we did this mic, that mic'd up video, I did deadlifts. Now, uh, Today I do, got it again because I am now incorporating powerlifting into the bodybuilding workouts. I know I said I was thinking about it, I decided I will do that. So back day is today, which means deadlifts, conventional. So uh, yeah, let's go hit them. Okay, before we go into the gym, I think it might be a hat day. My hair is looking a little eh. I did just get a haircut, but it's a hat day. Okay, let's go deadlift for real now. All right, so to kick off this deadlift workout, well, back workout with deadlifts included, do some pull-ups. But this is extremely high. Like, why is this so high? Maybe I, I can't reach that. Uh, I think if I just fully commit, I will make it. Yep, there we go. Jeez, it's like a far drop down too. Ooh. It did help, but well, hamstrings are so sore, so. It's gonna be an interesting deadlift session. I have five sets of five at a like moderately light weight, so probably around 450, 425 ish range. Hoping for 450, but five sets of five. Oh. Uh. 
I didn't film it, but 315, I'm not gonna lie. It's creeping up on me a little bit. This is 415. Let's see if I can get this for my first set of five. Remember, I was deadlifting 585 two days ago for reps. Okay. Okay. Was that four? Was that a rep short? Okay, let's go get it. Five. Man, I'm weak. All right, thankfully those dead loops are over. And I don't have to suffer through that anymore. We're doing rows. Barbell bent over rows. Back to the bodybuilding. I don't know how many reps, but I know three sets. Just feel it out for the reps. I do that with a lot of my sets, actually. Just feel it out, then I decide. Delts on fire. This last set, best set of thing. What am I making that up? Is that? Oh. But last set. <clears throat> so we did the barbell rows. Now we do the seated rows. See, with this one though, we're focusing more on contracting in the back. Slow. Everything's slow. Oh. With me, if we don't hit the pullovers, we're hitting them. By the way, I forgot to mention, but that last set, the rows, that was three sets of around 10 reps. So, I'm fatigued, man, I'm fatigued. Excuse me. Man, this thing keeps falling. Okay, just gotta buckle in for the lats start flying. Start flying away with the lats because they're so big. It's going to be my last set. Doing four sets and hand grab. So as many reps as possible. <sighs> yeah. I'll do the lap pull downs. So I found this like different lat pull down. It's not like the typical lat pull down, but it's, it's controlled by each arm, so it's not together. Shooting for around four sets of 12, just really slow. This is gonna be the last back exercise that I do today. See, work hard at it, I guess. And just like that, we are done, ladies and gentlemen, for our back day.
You're probably wondering why only four back exercises and no accessories? It's because I'm sore and I'm listening to my body. I genuinely do not believe people listen to their bodies enough when it comes to the gym because your body will literally tell you if it's sore and it needs to go easy or if you feel great and you can go balls to the wall. Like Greg Doucette says, you should train harder than last time. But that does not mean to overtrain. Please remember that. And we are home. This is gonna be the end of this video. I'll be back tomorrow. I've said that a couple times in previous videos, but I actually will be back tomorrow. I want to thank you guys for watching this video and uh, have a great day, have a great night, have a great evening whenever you're watching this. See you tomorrow, bye.